Hello everybody, Jurassic Player here. Today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit special. This is the uh, NESDS emulator. And down here I have the uh, cheat screen shown up. And I'm going to be showing you how to use said cheat searchy thing. Um, if you've seen my video on the DS2's free cheat, it's pretty much the same. Um, so what I'm going to be looking for is, uh, I guess I'll look for, uh, life. These, uh, nice little red bar things. And, uh, I have no idea what I want to search for first, so I will, uh, just check around. We have a uh, number, equals, not equals, increase, decrease, map, and I'm going to be using uh, decrease. So, first of all, we need to start our search. If I can, there we go, okay. And then we just continue on. On a merry way, get hit once, and then of course we uh. Oh shoot! Dang it. Okay. Well, let's hope I don't screw up. All right, I need to find another enemy. Okay, cool. Got hit again. Now let's try searching. Okay, cool. So I pressed it once. Let's see. And now I continue on. Get hit again. Once again. Okay, cool. Alright. So now I only have uh, four values here. Now I already know which ones I'm looking for, but you know, uh, I'm sure some of you can probably already tell. But uh, pretty much all you need to do, you need to have a little bit of um, a brain, and uh, you just check out these values. If you have it as a, if you have only like a couple addresses. If you have a ton of addresses, then it's probably not a good idea to start thinking about it until you narrow it down. Since there are only four here, I'm going to just skip the uh, the rest of my uh, poking and prodding at getting my guy at a lower HP. And uh, I'm just going to tell you right now that it's one of these two bottom ones. Now, as you can probably tell, their old value was 7 and their new value is 6. And uh, if you can see here... I have uh, currently six bar things. So, you can sort of guess that's my HP down here. And so, I'm going to be pressing this, pressing that, and hopefully, I added them. No, I didn't. Okay, come on. Press it. Press it. I hope I added them now. No. Okay, well. Eventually, I will get these presses to work for me. Okay, cool. I got both of them. Awesome. So now you can see here, I have these. Okay, maybe you can't. Stop. Stop it. Okay. So, I have the two addresses right there. These are the addresses for the uh, RAM. And uh, of course, the values for each of those, and then the type of cheat that it is. And uh, you can change that. You can change the uh, value, the address, and of course the type. I will be changing the type to fixed because I want it to be fixed. And um, to test this, I will just uh, continue on. And then what should happen? is something stays um, whether it be I don't know what or possibly my life 
It's one of the two. Actually, you know what? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll, show, I'll just I'll just show you. You can consider it just my amazing wealth or something. But as you can tell, I no longer get um, any loss in HP. I can uh, I can go through this entire level and not have to worry about a thing. Um, of course, if you've ever played this game, then you know that at the end of each level, um, the game tallies up all of the remaining life that you have, and um, at that point you get stuck. Until, uh, of course, you change this uh, fix to once, and then it will continue on as usual. Now, as you can see, it is still at 6, despite getting hit more than 6 times, showing you that this cheat is, in fact, the correct one. Now, this other one here, if I change this one, you'll get to see something really weird and cool at the same time. So let's change it to, I guess, nah, 8. 8 is cool. No, not really. Okay, okay. Crap. Oh well, forget that. Okay, so I changed it to 8. And uh, the other value is still at 6. So now you get to see what random crap happens. And apparently. It just made my graphic go up one. So let's continue playing around. I don't quite know what happens if I play around with this too much, but it doesn't really bother me. No, nothing happened. Okay then. Well, yeah, that that, that was about it. That that was a uh, searching for cheats in a nutshell. Um, there's not really much to it. You just uh, you just kind of have to think a little bit. Um, obviously, I had something easy to do, so I had life. I knew it was going to be decreasing, and so I just used my search type as decreasing, and I just started searching for whatever. Just kept decreasing. Um, that's the general idea be behind uh, searching for the simpler cheats, uh, more complex ones I have no idea how to find. But the simple ones are easy enough. Um, I could also probably do the same for the chip, or the... I have done the same for the time and um, the lives, the number of lives right there. And uh, just to show you guys, I have it all here in a list. Check that out. So you can see the uh, physical hit points is the one that um, I use to legitimately do this. The first one that I used, where my HP did not change at all, but the graphics were correct. And um, the the second one you see here, the uh, graphical hit points, is the second value I changed that caused strange things to happen. In which case, I only had one extra one, and of course, nothing else changed. Um, I also have the number of lies. I set the value to 9, meaning I'd have 9 lies when I start the game, and it would never change. Uh, because I set all of my cheats on fixed for the hell of it. And um, we have the seconds countdown timer, tens countdown, and then the hundreds countdown. Surprisingly enough, they actually split it into those three numbers. So, what I mean by the tens, hundreds, and uh, of course ones is the timer right here. Apparently they have the timer, tens, ones, hundreds, all split up so they go one or zero to nine. Uh, and of course if you see this, of course all of them are nine, nine, nine. Meaning I'd have infinite time, infinite lives, and of course, um, infinite of these uh, hit points here. <coughs> and um, this is the cheat search and the the way to add cheats onto NESDS um, is all RAM addresses. Um, 
if you have ever done any sort of uh, NES sort of cheat searching ish thing with uh, uh, what what is the one that I used? Uh, FCE UX. Yeah, great emulator. But um, if you uh have ever done that, then you know exactly what I'm talking about and what what I'm finding here. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. You should be able to uh, put one and one together anyway. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, NESDS does not support Game Genie codes. And um, I have absolutely no idea how it can. Um, of course, if I could change this first value, these uh, first value of the address, then it could be possible, but I'm thinking that because Game Genie um, codes are for more like the actual ROM, while these these codes are more for the uh, RAM, it doesn't exactly. Uh, I wouldn't say that it doesn't work, but you can't put them in here because it will give you different addresses for. Uh, if you use Game Genie, it will give you different addresses when you uh, try and convert them to uh, RAM addresses. Which, by RAM addresses, I mean converting them to uh, Pro Action Replay codes, which are the... I think it was the first four digits are, are the address, and then the last two are the uh, value and then the two after that are compare um, if if you have a compare value included in it and um, yeah that's it there, there's not really much else um, you can use pro action replay codes um, just uh, look at the first four um, the first four should have a zero and then of course these whatever three digits are, or three characters, I guess, since there are uh, alphanumerical. Um, and you just put those in. You put in the value you want. Um, putting it too high may cause game breaking. Um, but I tried putting my uh, my life on here um, overly high, and it, uh, it was okay. It didn't uh, destroy anything, but it... it it causes a. Uh, it caused me to have no life bar, but I was able to play and live through everything. It was cool, and uh, that's about it. That's yeah. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, you know how to add new cheats. Um, as I said before, um, PAR codes will work. You just uh, click add new one, you uh, click this, and then uh, you, of course you add the address, you add the value you want, you have it either as once or fixed, you click OK, and then it's added. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it. If you play Kabuki Fighter, Quantum Fighter, um, then uh, you can go back in the video. Or actually, no. I'll I'll even save you that trouble. You can look at the video now and uh, copy those. Well, you don't have to copy the graphical hit points one. That one just causes stupid things to happen. But you can copy the rest of them down and uh, put them in and uh, see if they work for yourself. Um, they work for me. And uh, that's about it. I can't really think of anything else. This wasn't supposed to be extremely long because there wasn't very much to actually talk about. Uh, yeah. Have fun uh, cheating on your retro game. Uh, though why you'd really want to, I don't know. But then again, some of these games are actually really hard. To me. That's depressing. Anyways. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun playing your game, and I hope you also watch whatever video I have next.